This is Wild and Free, a book about animals in danger by Mick Manning and Britta Granstrom. Who could live in a world without tigers? Not Gitta. Gitta lives in India. She has only seen tigers in books, but she needs to know they are out there, living with their cubs in the dark forests, wild and free. Tigers are protected, but they could still become extinct unless poachers are stopped. Who could live in a world without sharks? Not Leanne. Leanne lives in the USA and she thinks sharks are cool. Sharp fins slicing through the oceans, wild and free. White sharks are becoming very rare. They are usually harmless to humans, but sometimes mistake swimmers for their favorite food, seals. Who could live in a world without wild cats? Not Angus. Angus lives in Britain and dreams of seeing a wild cat someday, leaping through the windy heather, wild and free. Wild cats are meeting tame cats and breeding with them. This means that soon there may be very few true wild cats left. Who could live in a world without whales? Not Atsuku. Atsuku lives in Japan. She wants to go on a whale spotting holiday to see them. Such huge animals breaking the waves, wild and free. Whale numbers are growing now, but whales still need protection. Who could live in a world without bears? Not Anita. Anita lives in Spain and once she saw a sad brown bear at a circus. She hopes bears will stay in the mountains, far away from hunters and circuses, wild and free. There are a few bears left in some European countries. They are extinct in many others. Who could live in a world without gorillas? Not Essie. Essie lives in Africa and her ambition is to see a silverback gorilla swinging a toddler in his arms, wild and free. Gorillas are protected, but they are poached for meat by poor forest people. Who could live in a world without rhinoceroses? Not Mo. Mo lives in Africa and he hopes to see a rhino one day. A rhino with a huge horn on her nose and a small calf by her side. Galumphing across the plains, wild and free. Rhinos are killed because some people think their horns can be made into magic powder. There are not many rhinos left now. Who could live in a world without cougars? Not Jake. Jake lives in Canada. Sometimes he imagines he really is a cougar, a golden cat padding through the Rocky Mountains, wild and free. Cougars or mountain lions are shot because they sometimes kill cattle and sheep. Who could live in a world without koalas? Not Luke. Luke lives in Australia and goes to sleep dreaming about koalas, shining up the trees, carrying their babies piggyback wild and free. The eucalyptus trees koalas need for food are disappearing. Other dangers include bushfires and dogs on the hunt. Who could live in a world without bats? Not Titus. Titus lives in Germany and he thinks bats are beautiful, swooping through the night, dashing after moths, wild and free. Bats live all over the world. They need quiet places to live, like buildings, hollow trees and caves. Bats can be poisoned by fungus and woodworm sprays. Who could live in a world without wolverines? Not Anna. Anna lives in Scandinavia, and she would love to see a clumsy wolverine one winter's day, thumping through secret snowy places wild and free. Wolverines are the size of dogs. 
They live in many cold countries. They are hunted for their fur and the large wilderness areas they need to live in are disappearing. Who could live in a world without pandas? Not Chen. Chen lives in China and he loves pandas. He wishes they could be safe and happy, eating bamboo, sitting in their forests, wild and free. Pandas are protected, but the bamboo they eat is being chopped down. Pandas are now very rare. Who could live in a world without jaguars? Not Maria. Maria lives in South America. She hopes the jaguars and the rainforest will soon be protected forever. The jaguar prowling in the rainforest, wild and free. Jaguars need the rainforest to live and hunt in. But some of the rainforest is being chopped down to make furniture and burned away to make room for cattle. Who could live in a world without wildlife? Could you live in a world without wildlife? In this book, there are just a few of the animals that are in danger. Many animals have already been saved, but there are still thousands that need our help to survive. The end. That was Wild and Free, a book about animals in danger by Mick Manning and Britta Granstrom.